Today we are leaving Italy. It has been one full year since we've been able to leave the country in order to see friends and family, but today all of that changes as we are packing up, getting on an airplane, and heading out. Well, I spent the better part of the last two days packing up the house here, moving all of our tools off-site to a storage facility, and even putting up a few extra security cameras to keep an eye on the property while we're gone. And the only thing left now is to pack up our suitcases and head to the airport. It feels incredible to be here. I can't believe that we're flying today. It's been so long. I'm so excited. So admittedly, we are quite rusty at all of this. It has been a while, but we managed to get our bags dropped and are now headed on to security. So I realized a fun fact yesterday that this is the longest our children have ever gone their entire lives without getting on an airplane. Which is pretty crazy, I would say. Girls, how old were you when you got? COVID was pretty long. <laughs> no, it wasn't that long before we were on a plane in COVID. It felt like forever, but I think it was only like five months. Alexa, do you know how old you were when you got your first passport picture? Yeah. I don't even know. I think she was like maybe three months old. How old was Chloe? Oh, Chloe was really little. She was even younger than that. They've both been traveling since they were very young, and this has been the longest time all of us have been on a plane for their entire lives and as long as I can remember. <laughs> back from, I think, Amsterdam when we stopped over in Iceland. And then look, girls. <laughs> I remember look how that. small you are. Five, five years ago today. I feel like that's just a lot. Chloe was only two. Chloe, okay. yours is this one. This one? Nope. This is the middle one. <laughs> four of us so we never get a window seat but it's okay because I love it when these middle aisles have four seats together we get to all sit together it's so fun. I think so. What are you going to watch? Um, I think maybe elementary. Yeah. Yeah. So the first couple of minutes back in the United States and the first smell I get is really bad Chinese food like Panda Express and immediately that's all I want. So I have I to find... I want to go check out the snacks, that's where I'm, I'm like, ooh, do they have Cheez-Its? It's... Yeah, we have oh, there's an Cheez-Its. Cheez -Its. <laughs> it's funny the things you miss. After one year, it's always the small, very simple things. So Silly things. Of we need Cheez-Its like and we need Panda Express. Yeah. I see them. We see the Cheez-Its. I see the Cheez-Its. Hello. <laughs> so, Mommy, we should get this kind of small. Ooh, and Cardetto's. This? It's gonna be twelve dollars. When you haven't been in the U.S. for a year, you really miss 
really small things like cheese. <laughs> Let me guess. Ten dollars for the Cheez Its. How much? I think they might be seven. Seven. <laughs> I'm not gonna get both. I'm gonna pick. You're gonna get both. I am. We're just going to our gate. I'm so excited to get to Ohio, which is our destination for today. Whee! This is as good as I remember. <laughs> We are currently in the process of planning a whirlwind of travel beyond the current travel day that you are currently watching. And let me tell you that sometimes planning the travel can be far more time consuming than the actual travel experience itself. We put in countless hours into planning the best route, finding the most affordable accommodation and the best places to eat and things to do while we we're traveling. But thanks to artificial intelligence, travel planning is about to become a whole lot easier. If you haven't heard of Magic, Magic is your personal AI travel assistant that can help with planning your trip, finding you the best places to stay, and even answering your travel related questions. Magic is a super fun personal AI travel assistant that you can literally ask real world questions such as plan a three day travel itinerary to Tokyo for a vegetarian, and it will automatically populate a three day trip with the best things to do, where to stay, and restaurants for you to eat at. We're currently planning a trip to Chiang Mai, Thailand, and while I thought I knew of all the things to do in that area, by chatting with Magic, I found several other activities that I wasn't aware of, including an affordable cooking class for our family and several other things, and even a lot of great hotels in the area that we wanted to stay. Magic even has a feature called Magic Reviews for when you're looking at a hotel to stay at, it will read through all of the reviews in the description and give you an unbiased summary of what's good and bad at any particular given hotel. The best and most surprising part is that Magic is completely free. There are no paid plans or upgrades or any additional fees when booking a hotel, so you have nothing to lose. So if you want to give it a try, we'll leave a link in the description as well as this QR code, as it's rather fun just to chat with the AI assistant and get answers to your travel-related questions. We got a van. Cars. <laughs> Nobody wanted the minivan. We're in the back of the line. I go, I'll take it. I'll take it. I just want to go. I don't care what we drive. <laughs> hey, it's nice to have a minivan for us. Yeah. Now I'm recording. <laughs> it's 
feels really weird. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a long time. I, I don't know how to do this anymore. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> well, hi there. Hi. Is that, is that too awkward? <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot, a lot to catch you up on. We do have a lot to catch you up on. I got new hair. It's shorter. <laughs> it's not new straighter. hair. You just cut the old it's hair. It's true. It was here before. <laughs> Oh, goodness. What else is there? <laughs> we had to leave Italy, uh, which is going to take a minute to explain. So if you're... <coughs> Excuse me. It's been, it's been, we're, I've, we're a little rusty at this. She also lost her voice I, for like yeah. three weeks straight. Yeah. So she, she's just coming back online. <laughs> yeah. I've been a little bit hoarse lately. Um I don't remember. What was I going to say? So if you aren't aware for the last year or so, we've been in Italy building out a wonderful historic stone house that we are going to turn into our home. And um, in the process, we haven't left the country, um, which most of you know know why, which we'll talk about later. But um, this is our first time. Um, in over a year, leaving yeah. the country and being back in the United States, which, yeah. um, to our surprise, is long enough to experience pretty severe reverse culture shock. <laughs> it's been super interesting. <laughs> it's been really crazy being back here. It's yeah. been really surreal and really, really good. It's been Very really good. good for us to be able to visit with family and friends. Yeah. And it's been it's been so yeah. so good. Skipping to the end of like the whole gist of this, like we are in such a good place. Yeah. Like I don't think it's a, a shameful thing to admit to um, a fair bit of burnout. On, yeah, um, on we both were of, feeling like, it. Yeah, uh, and you probably felt it through our videos. Yeah. Like to be able to get away at all it has just kind of really filled us back up again. It's, yeah, it's been really really refreshing. What have we been doing? Let's fill people in. Okay, what so doing. we spent. Some time in Ohio visiting my family and friends and well, our friends and stuff. But um, then we have been in Michigan. Michigan. Now we're in Michigan right now with Brady's family. My mom and dad put on this thing every year called Cousin Camp, which is when um, all of Heather and Alexa's cousins get together. I'm Heather. You Uh, mean Chloe. (laughs) (laughs) Chloe and Alexa, the children. The children. (laughs) With all their cousins, they get together. Should we leave that in or cut it out? We should definitely leave it in. Leave it in. (laughs) Um, so, anyway, someone's going to relate to that. <laughs> um, yeah. when all the kids get together, all the cousins get together yeah. and oh, it's um, so special. they do games and activities. They did a play, um, tons of oh crafts. Goodness. Um, so it's yeah. a jam packed, uh, three day weekend, I think. Yeah, it's pretty um, so we snuck away, which was uh, so good. Also, <laughs> yes, that was awesome. We haven't been like alone, alone really forever. <laughs> it's been so long. So that was so nice to just get really away good. for a few days and have that time. To just really relax and reconnect and so very quickly really, really good. we went from being burnt out to yeah. like being back to a neutral position yeah. and like excited to move forward yeah. i feel so refreshed um, really do you yeah i'm yeah. thinking about i want to i don't know some i feel like somebody might be interested in hearing like some of the reverse culture shock things because it's really yeah, it's really funny i think like i remember like when we first landed and we got our rental car and we're driving like the first thing i thought is like Man, it's big the here. Roads Everything's are huge. big. The roads are huge. The cars, the cars are, huge. are huge. The parking spots oh, are huge. Like the That's fact nice. that you can park your car next to another car and open the doors yeah. kind of really blew my mind. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, that's, everything that's is a good so one. much bigger here and so spread out. There's so much space. Uh, I don't know, there's a lot of other really small, silly things. I think for me, like, the craziest moment was when we were at the airport still, but we were back in the States, and I walked into the bathroom, and, like, the soap dispenser wasn't working, and the lady next to me, we were, like, joking about it, and it was, like... Just small talk. It was just, like, small talk, but I... It's... You forget, like, how easy it is to just, like, communicate with people when you... And know I, the language. I noticed that the so girl, it was just like, oh wow, like the we kids can talk. have been a lot cool. bolder and talking to strangers. So like yeah. they went trick or treating because it's Halloween time right mm-hmm. now, and Alexa was just chatting up a storm with every other kid she saw yeah. and telling them how much they lo- she loved their costume. Yeah. And they've become a lot bolder as a result of things of, of yeah. being separated. For example, from English-speaking culture. like I used to be afraid to like 
call people on the phone or like and I still don't want to call people on the phone I hate calling people on the phone but I would be afraid to like go up and order food at like a takeout place or something and now it's like hey like you speak English like I can do this it's easy like it's it's so much harder to try to work that out in Italian and um I'm not being rude I, I wrote down a few things <laughs> thank, oh. yeah he's just like thanks <laughs> No. Free, Moving on. <laughs> free water at restaurants. Oh, yeah. Like, that was like, wh- like I get water? I don't have to pay for but it? But you do like have the, to tip. You do have to tip, which I think American viewers will find it interesting. Like, that's an American thing. Like, yeah. you really don't tip outside of the USA. And we had totally yeah. forgotten that they you had to They actually pay their their service people a real salary. Can you I say that? No, you can't say that. <laughs> drive throughs like that I had totally forgotten like we we have McDonald's and yeah, uh, there's occasionally McDonald's a Burger and King or things like that we have in, KFC. In, in Italy but yeah. drive throughs is not a thing mm. like you don't like to be able to drive your car up and grab your yeah. food and, and move on like, everything is so I forgot that you could do that convenient here there's it's a lot very, more convenient. it's very convenient yeah. um, and there's there's so many more things I'm sure we're forgetting the weirdest thing for me was the amount of air conditioning because I like we're, okay, we are American. We love air conditioning. That's been a constant thing yes. going back and forth between our Italian friends and us. Is like we love we to love it have cold. Yeah. our house cold, and and most people hate that. But we would go into stores, like grocery stores, and it's yeah. I mean it's, it's cold. October, like it's, it's fall, cold here like right it's now. cold. Yeah, it's um it's probably currently I think fifty five. Yeah, and like that's co- that's pretty cold. Like you need it's a chilly. jacket. Chilly, yeah, for but sure. But then you walk into a grocery store and immediately you feel like you're in a refrigerator <laughs> yeah. because they're running the air conditioning. Like, wait, why is the air the conditioning end on of in here? October when it's fifty five degrees outside. It's bizarre. And I remember I used to like that, and now I don't anymore. So yeah, I've, we're getting. I don't know. That's the Italians. <laughs> coming out in us, I guess. <laughs> anyway, so let's talk about why it is that we had to leave Italy. So, of course, we've talked at length too much probably about uh, visa issues. Those are still in yeah. in the works, but in the process, like we, we do feel confident that that will go through. Um, and let me just be clear. We did not have to leave and that we were kicked out. We were not kicked out. Can I say that? I was going to get to that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I stole your thunder. No, no. The, the problem is, is that we we've been working for the last um, eight plus months. I can't remember how long, long time. on this massively ambitious yeah. project um, for the stone house. Yeah. Um, I think massively ambitious is a good it's, way to, it is. It to describe is. it. It's, it's something that it's a little crazy. we've interviewed 10 plus construction companies mm-hmm. on and only a very small handful of them were willing to take on the project. Um, so it's been months and months and months of coordinating and getting the documents ready and the paperwork and the approvals and um, talking to engineers and geologists. It's been, a, it's been crazy. I didn't yeah. realize we had to talk to a geologist to, to be able to accomplish this. Yeah. Um, and, and we're going to make that announcement next week. So I hope you stick around to, yeah. to hear about that because we're really excited yeah. about it. But because this was a, a massively ambitious, huge undertaking, we obviously have to be there to see it through. Yeah. And because of our visa situation, the only way to guarantee that we could be there was to leave. Yeah. Because if it, like there is this chance that things don't go our way and in that scenario we might have spent the last eight or nine months pulling everything together and then have to pull the plug if we can't be there to see the project through Um, so we decided to take matters into our Mm -hmm. own hands and leave for 90 days which allows us to get back in on a tourist visa Mm -hmm. and it was the only way to guarantee that we could be there and we also just needed a break we just needed to see Uh, family and friends and and have a reset, you yeah. know, because we... Which we found faster than I expected. Yeah. Uh, but it, for you guys, it doesn't mean that you have to wait 90 days yes. because um, we got... We're already little... one third of the way through, right? <laughs> Basically. <laughs> we uh, we had so much work to do before yeah. we left to secure up the house and pour the concrete foundation. We were everything. making lots of extra videos. We when, were working nights yeah. and weekends and yeah. very quickly got ahead, which is not our norm. We normally are week to week mm-hmm. and we definitely will get back to that because we prefer things that yeah. way. Yeah. But um, yeah, so we, what are our plans? Yeah, so I, I feel like it's a secret. So over the next few weeks, we will be getting back to our roots and doing some more travel. 
Um, and I'm so excited. We have some really epic things planned, and I can't wait. We've spent the last uh, few weeks off camera with family, but now we're we're so excited yeah. as a family to get out there and adventure and explore the world, which, um, like Heather said, is back mm-hmm. to our roots. And um, really, we've got some incredible stories and uh, destinations to share with you guys. And throughout that, we will be giving you updates mm-hmm. on yeah. our plans um, for the house and uh, some things that we have coming soon, especially next week when we yeah. announce it's like this massive undertaking that we're really excited for Uh, but also just really excited to get back to travel as a family since that's meant so much to us Uh, and as the girls get older like our dream and our passion is really to be able to travel with them at all ages and so the fact that we haven't been able to do that for the last year they've grown so much Mm -hmm. and so i'm really excited to get back out there and capture some memories and yeah capture those memories of traveling with them at the ages that they are now because they're really fun right now thank you guys so much for all of the love and support that we are just continually receiving um no matter what we're doing you know whether we're traveling whether we're building the stone house like we feel that love and support and we just are so I want to say something about the comments like your comments mean so much to us and because we were quite a bit burnt out like we haven't we've done a terrible job responding to them but we do read every single comment and they do mean so much to us and and we're going to get better back to being better about (laughs) responding to those comments so thank you thank you so much and we do we do love hearing from you guys So that's going to be it for us for today, but make sure you tune in next week because we do have that giant update and it is going to be a little bit of a different Mm -hmm. video because we will be traveling. So make sure you have your notifications on because YouTube probably won't show it to you because it will be different. So please go look for it next Sunday. We will be posting. So just go look for it and we hope you enjoy. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks.